barn. I'm out here at this old tobacco barn. I featured it in a, an earlier video. And I'm going to go in and get some more of these tobacco sticks out. This is an old uh, Eastern North Carolina fluke here tobacco barn here in Johnston County. And I'm going to come through this door. And uh, I've shown you this before. I've shown you this in a previous video, all these tobacco sticks in here. Well, I'm going to come in here and get as many of them as I can today. And uh, then I'm going to show you how I... Uh, Put these sticks together to make um, to make a birdhouse or to make a wood project. Uh, as you can see, they're fairly uh, rotten. Some of them are rotten. Some of them are old. And, uh, this this tobacco barn is about ready to fall down, so I'm hoping it's not going to be a death trap for me today. Uh, I'm praying that it won't be. But in any case, uh, that's what I intend to do. So let's get with it. Well, it looks like some of these tobacco sticks are holding up that wall right there. If you look at that, it's corn wanting to cave in. It's a windy day. And uh, I'm just really reluctant to go in there and get those. I'm not too worried about snakes because it's a, uh, it's a cool day. But you can see right there, that's a fresh break. That's a fresh break of that rotten wood and that wall bending out like that. I think I need to get out of here. So I think I've got enough for now. Enough to show you what I want to do with them. They're beautiful though. Old timey fluke here tobacco sticks. Eastern North Carolina at its best. A lot of these old tobacco barns were covered with this, this uh, asphalt paper or asphalt um, roofing material. Sometimes it was in the uh, pattern of bricks. Uh, in this case, it's just gray asphalt roofing. And there was always a window so the farmer could look into his barn and see how his tobacco was curing. And this is the window for this old barn. And of course, you can't see anything in it. Oh, except when you get right there. That's how he would come, he'd come and check. Uh, every so often he'd come and check and look and see the color of his leaf and when it was the right color he would uh, cut the barn heat off let it uh, sit for a little bit and then get his barn people in the next morning and do uh and take out the tobacco well, here are the sticks i got today i think this is probably going to be my last haul of uh tobacco sticks from this old barn it's just too dangerous. The wind's blowing today, having a little bit of skittish in there. My friend Ben Pope, history hound detecting, in uh, one of his recent videos, he didn't go into inside of a store because he felt it was a death trap. And uh, I think the same way about this barn, Ben. By the way, everybody should check out Ben's metal detecting channel, history hound detecting. Wonderful. As you can see, I've gathered uh, four of these old um, Eastern North Carolina fluke cured tobacco sticks. I've gathered four of them together. And I'm going to put them together like this. I'm going to put glue uh, between these. I'm going to glue them together in this manner, just like that. And after I've, I've glued them together and let them sit a while, I'll show you what the result will be. And you have to choose the sticks so that they have some, at least a little bit of uh, continuity across the edge. Of course, as you glue them, uh, you'll be able to adjust that. And, you know, on some parts you may have to cut the ends off. And um, some rotten stuff and some termite stuff. But in the end, uh, you get the rustic look. It looks really nice. And I'll do that and demonstrate it for you. Okay, well I've got these, uh, I've got some glue between these two sticks, just to show you how I do it. I just put a generous, a generous amount of glue between the sticks. I use Tight Bond Ultimate, which is waterproof. Uh, you may have another glue that you like to use, but this works pretty well for me. And I've, I've made sure that I've cleaned the edges of these before I, I put them together. 
Uh, but I put a pretty generous supply of glue on there. Then I'll just flip them over and uh, I, I get them to a point. Uh, once I get the other ones together, I'll, I'll clamp them together and show you how that looks. Okay, I've got the uh, clamps on now. And you can see that I've got them about, I don't know, every eight inches or so, eight or nine inches apart. And what I do here is when I put the clamps on, I press and I make sure that this that this uh, area, that the sticks are as flush as possible over the top. It doesn't always happen. You have to have a little rise there. But you'll see in just a few minutes when I show you the end result, um, how you can uh, how you can you know use that to your advantage in a rustic look, but you can see how great that looks already. Uh, and I'll, basically, I tighten my clamps, and I go down. I keep tightening until it just about hurts my hands to tighten. And um, they will stay that way. I'll leave them. Uh, I'll sit them over aside on the floor or on the table for uh, at least 24 hours, and let that uh, glue set. And then I'll show you the result of that. Okay, I wanted to show you a finished product. Um, this is not the one I was working on, but one I worked on previously. But you can see <clears throat> how those sticks uh, came together really well. What I do after they're glued is I will sand them down with my orbital sander to smooth it out a little bit and you know, get the rough spots out. And then I will uh, put a one coat of... Uh, a clear satin polyethylene on it and basically that gives it kind of a finish you can sort of see the glow a little bit but I don't put a lot of finish on it but that polyethylene satin uh, finish uh, is really nice and it makes it look good and you can see it's just like a board uh, it's just like a regular board that I use and uh, it, it's really beautiful to me and here's an example of a birdhouse that I've made using these sticks you can see where you can see how they went together there not perfectly of course but that's the whole idea behind rustic work the side and um, oops, oops. I keep dropping it here <laughs> another side and the rear uh, you can see how the, it's just still got that rustic look to it almost a log cabin -y kind of look that's my signature there across with my initials and the year date and of course uh, old barn tin for the roof but uh, that's just how it looks that's how it turned out looks really good I think and that's what you can do with uh, with tobacco sticks